everyone, Master Rabbit here from CapturalComputers.com. Today, we're going to be doing is running you through gameplay from a game from Speed Bump Studios called Robot Gladiators. Now, uh, Gladiator, that is. Uh, now, basically, uh, this game is available on the Apple iPhone store. It's running on, at the moment, on the Apple iPad. Now, Robot Gladiator is similar to games that are out there at the moment, like uh, Infinity Blade. Dark Meadow um, that used the swipe attack mechanism, but this one is a little, in my honest opinion, a lot more fun uh, due to the fact that you are allowed to search and roam around wherever you want uh, within the limits of the actual level. Uh, so now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through. There are not a lot of information. There's not a lot of information or extra extra sections in the game. Unfortunately, there's not. It's not compatible with our game center or anything like that. There's only options where, for example, you've got on-screen help, which I'm going to leave on just for this example of the t of the gameplay and different levels of difficulty. So I'm going to leave it on easy for now, so everyone can see and quick have a quick understanding of how everything works. The credits, basically, as I said, uh, Robot Gladiator uh, is created by. By uh, G Norman, uh, speed bumps and original music is from Isaias Garcia. So I'm going to run through and show you how it all works and give you a rundown of how everything works out and how 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 it all functions. Uh, the gameplay, as I said, is very easy to e easy to pick up and play, and there is a lot of great stuff in in, in this game. So let's just uh, run through and I'll have and you'll see how the, how the game starts off. It's powered by the Unreal Engine, which is fantastic, um, and you do play as a as a as a um, as a person na named Number Eight. As you can see, here he is now. Graphically, it's amazing. You can see that they've done a great job. Alrighty. Now, just notice that you've been equipped with a titanium exoskeleton, and this place is populated only by a bunch of derelict robots looking for a fight. Alrighty. Don't disappoint them, or me, or your millions of viewers. Okay, so pretty much what's happening is the guy up there in the top in the corner, you can't really see him too well from the screen, um, is controlling everything here, and he is the guy who owns you now because you have now been dropped off into in a space station where he's only controlled uh, with the only thing that's around are robots. Looking like it's uh, basically you are now kind of the only way you can get out is by eliminating everything um, or dying. So pretty much you are now the owner of that person that's up there looking through the window at you and you are now pretty much in a area it basically in a space station where you are going to die unless you can make some different unless you can make it make a difference so what basically as you can see that I was using the controls to move around now we're going to go through and do a basic a basic attack game a basic uh, what do you call it uh, some attacks now this is where it's basically telling you if you want to swipe right you've got to swipe and once you let go of the thing once you let go you will basically uh, stop the, the attack will actually start so when you swipe and you let go for example swiping like that swipe left swipe right so for example we're swiping we just swipe right we swipe left we go like that and you let go of the finger uh, that's what ha that's how the attack works. So when when you swipe, you hold it, and you go up, and you let go. That's how the attack happens. Same thing as going down. You put your finger up, down, up from the top, and go down, and you swipe down. So you've got four different atta uh, four different attacks. You got the swipe left, the swipe right, the swipe up, the swipe down, and that is how the attacks work. So going in now, I'm going to show you how we're going to battle off a, a robot. We'll go in there and attack. And here is one of the here is the first robot. Now this is an armor drone. He's only level one. So basically, this is a very simple understanding of how it works. Swiping down will attack. Well, basically, because he's going to be doing a kick, swiping down again will stop him from doing a kick. Swiping a crossways will stop him when he's trying to attack you in that way. And then there's when 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 uh, when the robot is in a weak point, you can attack his weak points. And basically, once you do that, he moves back a little bit. Moving. Swiping across to the left, you can see at the moment this is all tutorial and it's very simple to do. Now, once a robot is stunned, you can go basically, you can go attack, 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 attack as quickly as possible to get some free hits in. I missed that one there. Swiping down, as you can see, you got health on the right hand side too. 
So you got your health and you got the robot's health. Once you do complete that, once you once you do finish off a robot, you get like a little bit of a cutscene where it completes, and uh, he destroys and takes out the robot, and that is the end of that. So once you once you've completed each section, you do get like a little ranking, uh, how many times you've done berserker, how many times you've done stun. Battle efficiency and percentage-wise, and your viewer rating. As you know, people around the galaxy are watching you, wanting and wanting you to die uh, at the hands of the robots. So basically, once you've completed, you can continue on with your career, which basically means continuing on with the game. So that basically, and then once this, once that completes, it will start loading again and move move you on to, from the continuation of where you would just where you just took off that robot. So as you can see, a bit of a storyline continues. There you go. I own you, in fact. And let me tell you, you weren't cheap. Even if you are just an ex-space marine sentenced to death for a botched operation that got the rest of your squad killed. You claimed you were innocent, of course, that you were being railroaded to cover up the gross negligence of your superiors. And you know what? You're probably right. And I don't care. Your only hope now is to do as I say. You make good TV for the people watching at home, and if you survive... And there you have it. Alright, so pretty much what you've got to do is you've got to try and destroy all these robots and get and get out of here, and he'll set you free. So now it's up to you. Are you going to be a good boy or are you not going to be a good boy? So it's totally up to you and how you're going to be doing this. So as you can see now, we are now able to move around and do what we want freely. Go in and search for a few things. Now there are there are some boxes, as you can see on the screen. It says tapping the green or tapping the boxes with lids break open, and you are able able to pick up extra weapons for example this one here is a handheld EMP phase gun it fires an electronic magnetic pulses temporarily disables unshield electronic devices so every uh, during the game you're going to pick up a few of these weapons that will actually allow you to continue forward in the in the mission if you don't seem to find them then you're not going to be able you're going to have a hard time trying to beat any sort of robot so this one here we've just picked up we're going to equip it right now so it's in your hand and we can continue on and take on the next robot so as I said, this is only a tutorial. This is, this section's only a tutorial, and it does get a lot more harder down the track. So as you can see, now we've got the sentry, and we start off with doing uh, finding his weak spot. We can also dodge, as you're going to see now. Holding down both buttons will dodge you out of the way. Swiping down, as you can see, I've got the help on, but without the help, it's going it's going it, to it'll be a little bit more harder because basically what what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to kind of find out and or get used to the robots. Um, attacking sort of um, style. So we're going to get a couple of swipes in there, swiping to the right and swiping to the left. As you can see, the help actually does help a lot with people that know how to play the game. So you got like a you got you got assistance with this, and you don't need to have the assistance if you don't want, because it'll make it much more harder. And as I was explaining to you before, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to learn the robot's movements and every and every robot that you do battle in the game is a little bit more different and has their own style and fighting techniques which you're going to have to use to your advantage to find out how you're going to be beating them and finding out when they're going to attack and pushing and then if it's going to be a swipe left or swipe right or move up or move down so that is how we've just done that one so pretty much uh, when that happens uh, that is um, alright so hang on for players, okay. So now this one he gives you. This one gives you the option to now, if you want to continue seeing the on-screen hints, we'll just keep a. We'll keep on yes, because that pretty much con completed the tutorial section of the game. And now we would. Now you've got options to now move around freely and check out everything in the area. So as you can see further up, the guy's going to talk to you again. the same model of a robot you've already beaten once they remember it they adapt you'll need new techniques and most importantly new weapons there you go look around on the flight deck you might get lucky all right so we're going to pretty much go go around and look around on the fight deck every time you complete a fight a, a battle and you've also you also lose a bit of health and this is our 
eating food pretty much right there is food that gives you energy so by pressing that that actually replenishes your health as well so the a guy asked us to go search up the uh, flight deck so we can go through here now this is what you're going to need to do sometimes you're going to have to be battling little droids uh, to get the access code so every time you punch them you get an access code so as you can see right now you've got a certain amount of time to knock these guys out and pressing them at the right time gives you access to restricted areas so as you can see right now we've just done that too so by doing that allows you and opens you up you found like a key card you've got to find one out of three key cards to open up and get through this section of the game and by doing that you just have to continue forward and find it and find a uh, other section uh, other part of the key you got to find a total of three key cards and by doing that you just got to go through and explore so by pushing basically going down the lift right now so there is a lot of exploration as well in the game there's a lot of few there's a few things that need to be done but here you can see there's another battle with a robot which we're going to be taking on right now because he's guarding another section of the game of, of, of the level and we'll battle this guy and then we'll move and then from there I'll end the uh, presentation on gameplay all right so we're going to be using the swipe we're going to be swiping down as you can see this is a totally different robot so you're going to have to get used to each one, each robot's techniques. All right. So we've got uh, going to be stunning him soon. What, the, that power on the left there, we can be able, to, we, we'll be able to use that one in a minute once that completely becomes full. I'll show you that very, very soon. So as you can see, we got a few, we can get a few swipe attacks in. We can push that button right now, and that he's gone all stupid. Once that happens, then you can use the mega hits, and that temporarily fires a weapon. So basically, what happens here? You got to fill up this meter here. We can just go crazy. So just by going down, 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 puts you in a puts you in a complete crazy mode, and it just destroys the robot. And as you can see, he'll get back up, but he, that's the actual that is completely the end of him. He'll come back, and you'll see a cutscene, and he'll destroy him. And there you go. Put put him in his place. Nice cutscene there. Gave him a good cup. Gave him a good left or well, right hook that one, and there he put him down on the ground. Very cool. And that's the end of that battle. Once again, you get efficiency and everything, and you got viewer rating too. Alrighty, they continue on with that little mission. So that is how um, Robot Gladiator works. It's very simple, not too hard. There's a lot of exploration in the game. The game is a little bit, in my honest opinion, a little bit short. There isn't too much going on. Uh, like I said, there's a great storyline. It won't take you too long to finish, but it is a very fun game. Defense cannon number eight. I doubt it even works. And besides, you need security key cards even to start it up. All right, so he's giving you little hints on what you've got to do to get to what you have to do next. As you can see, it completed, it completely finished that guy off. Once you've completed that, you can pick up another weapon. There you go. We've complete. We've picked up a. Uh, rivet gun this guy will come in handy for the next robot without that rivet gun you won't be able to beat them so that's pretty much how it'll work all right so that is everything um, now what I'll do is I'll jump back out to the main menu now the only other thing I can basically say is that you won't be able to um, uh, do any achievements in this game because there isn't any achievements uh, but it doesn't really it's it's not that bad of a problem it's apart from that the options are very simple you can reset the progress once you've completed, and if you do press play, it'll take you to the next last last point where you attacked that or where, where you beat the last robot. So it does keep a good safe spot, and that is it. So that is Robot Gladiator. Uh, if you like this presentation, make sure you give us a thumbs up on the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, let us know. Leave them on the YouTube channel as well, or on the site at CapsuleComputers.com. Gl Robot Gladiator is available right now on the Apple iTunes Store. Have a look for it and pick it up because I guarantee you will enjoy this game very, very much. So, without everything else, that is it. Master Abbott signing out from CapsuleComputers.com. Thank you for watching.